Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Don, this is Rockin' a Country. I'm doing a gift request today. Joe Skinner, shout out to you, thank you for this. You wanted me to do Freddie Hart's song, Easy Loving. It sounds like I should know this song. The title sounds familiar, but I'm not sure if I do. So I'm calling it a reaction. I'm going into it with the mindset that I don't know this song, but I might. And you said that uh, Freddie sat at your table in between sets at a place called the Road to Ruin in Tucson, Arizona, back in the 70s, which is very cool. And I also wondered, in James Taylor's song, Traffic Jam, at the end of the song, he says, like, riding down the road to ruin. And I've always wondered, that lyric never made sense to me, that he'd be in a traffic jam and somehow uh, riding down the road to ruin. Now it makes me wonder, was he talking about this place that you were at in the 70s? I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Freddie Hart. Thank you for the gift, Joe. Now I don't notice one. I know from the feeling it comes from the heart. Days Thanksgiving mm -hmm. to count all my blessings, I wouldn't know where to start. Every time I look you over, so real to life it seems upon you, pretty shoulders. You know, it's so endearing to hear like older performers singing because he doesn't have his voice that he had when he was younger and all, but there's just something so beautiful about hearing it. Every time I look you over, so real to That, I mean, I just love that. It's just to see them performing, you know, on Marty's show and, you know, whether it's Larry's Country Diner or, you know, it's just so nice to see these folks just get the mic. They get put on really nice clothes usually for these things. And uh, that wouldn't have been Freddie's band. That's Marty's studio band in there. But it's um, just so endearing. And it's so cool, Joe, because... You got to hang with him for a little bit. Obviously, when he was a young, in the 70s, that would have been 50 years ago, 45, 50 years ago, depending on when in the 70s. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful thing that you got to hang with him. That he just came and hung out with you in between sets. I love it when, when the artists themselves, like, interact with their fans more, you know? It's just really cool. I don't know how big he was at the time you saw him. But in many cases, it's irrelevant. It's just fun when you go to see somebody perform and then you get to talk with them or they hang out with you for a little bit. That's just 
that's just gold right there. So I'm not going to rate that. I'm going to leave that be. They're just the beauty of the performance. Uh, you know, I mean, what do you say about that? It's just, it's just a love song. And she's got, you know, I, I relate to this. I actually wrote a song this morning. I blasted went out very quickly. And it was un in ways unusual. It was unusual lyricism for me, too. And it was on the, basically the same subject of just love. I mean, what else are songs about? You know, love or heartbreak. Sometimes they're about events in life, but there it is. Joe, thank you again for the gift, folks. You can all thank Joe for this request. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country. <laughs>